Should we stand and watch? Doesn't this interest you? He's crying so pitifully. It really tugs at the heart. <laughs> you guys did this to Uncle! You... How dare you! You bastards! I will never forgive you! Love and hatred. How interesting. No, Jin Ming Jin Yang curse! <laughs> How sad. Why on earth would you turn on us? Little boy, the one you should hate isn't me. You should hate them. If they hadn't been hiding like cowards over there, your uncle wouldn't have been hurt. You deceitful woman! She's absolutely right. You're the ones who hurt Uncle! Jin Ming! Uncle and I traveled far to get to the Machine City. But all of you treated Uncle as an enemy! You hated us, took precautions against us! When bad people came to the city, you didn't catch them, instead you locked us up! None of you are good people! You won't even save someone who's dying! How are you any different from Wei Zhuang? Why won't you talk? Say something! Answer me! Your uncle was incredible. No matter how others treated him, how they saw him, he never once changed. I never believed him before. In such a critical time, I still treated him as an enemy. Yet he endured everything in silence. When the Mohis school faced its greatest catastrophe in centuries, he relied on his own strength and supported all of our faiths, our lives. Perhaps it is too late to say this. I have been unjust to your uncle. I was... Wrong. An apology is what I owe you both. I, Gao Jianli, swear on my life, as long as I draw breath, I shall protect your uncle's honor. Tian Ming, can you trust me? You must go on. Draw! Hm. Against you? And me. And all of our Mohist brothers! <laughs> hm. You're all overconfident fools. Just like Gunye. Shut up! You are correct. Gunye was indeed foolish, to the extent of risking everything for his own faith and beliefs. However, someone like you who has no knowledge of faith has no right to criticize him! <laughs> Do you have a response to that? I simply believe that the faiths and beliefs in every person's heart are completely different. But it appears to me that only those who are alive may discuss such matters. As for a bunch of people who are about to die, every step you take ahead will likely be away from your convictions. Cut the crap! We're all standing here now! We're not going to step back! Not going to step back? Ooh. 
looks to me. That half a step is more than enough to take someone's life. Timmy! That's nothing more than a load of noble nonsense you fools have created for yourselves. Dang! Get your stinking hands off of me, ugly! Let go of me! Try not to make any sudden movements. Put me down! Seems like watching your own people die is what you most do best. You scum! And you call yourself the leader of quicksand! You can only use a child's life to make threats! Don't you think you're embarrassing yourself by doing that? <laughs> There's no need for you to prod me into action. Wei Zhuang, this dispute is between you and us. This child has done nothing. Do you not dare to have a fair duel? There's no use talking! He doesn't fight fair! Fair? A weakling has no right to ask for fairness. However, I can give you a chance to prove yourselves. Hang this kid up. He'll be the game's bargain.